Hello friends, this video on human reproduction part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now have a look at the female reproductive system. So we already saw how the male reproductive system is organized and how the male gametes are produced. So in a similar way, we will look at the structure of the female reproductive system. So this is how the female reproductive system looks like and the important parts of the female reproductive system are a pair of ovaries. So ovaries are the primary organ of the female reproductive system. So why are they primary? Because they produce the female gametes. So the female gametes are produced inside the ovary. There is a fallopian tube or oviduct. So here if you see these are the two ovaries and this is the fallopian duct. If you see a tube like structure which is connected on one end to the ovary and on both the sides it is present. So it is called oviduct and fallopian tube. There is a uterus that is a bag like structure. So here if you see this entire structure is the uterus. So basically uterus is that structure where a baby is uh, uh, nurtured for nine months inside a female's body. So that is what happens during pregnancy of nine months. So the baby remains in the uterus. They grow and uh, develop and then get delivered after at the end of nine months. Cervix. So this is located here towards the terminal end of the uterus and this is followed by vagina. So if you see this is the vaginal opening that is an open space and this hole is the nothing but it is the vaginal opening. So it opens to the exterior. So these are the important parts which form the human female reproductive system. So this one the ovary is the primary female sex organ whereas the other parts like fallopian tube, uterus, cervix, vagina these are all female accessory ducts. So these are the accessory organs that is they help the primary organ to do its job. So let us look at the primary organ first that is the ovary. So looking at the structure of the ovary, it is the primary female sex organ as I mentioned, one on each side of uterus or lower abdomen. So if you see this is the uterus, so this is one ovary on one side, this is another ovary. So it, they are often referred as right ovary and left ovary. They produce the female gamete and what is a female gamete? Female gamete is ovum or egg cell, whatever you call it, ovum or egg cell both remain the same. So basically when you talk about sexual reproduction, fusion happens between male gamete and female gamete. So in case of human beings, fusion happens between the sperm and the ovum. So this also secretes female hormones like estrogen and progesterone. Like how we had the male hormone testosterone, similarly we have female hormones that is estrogen and progesterone and they are also secreted by ovary. Now why do we need these hormones? Progesterone mainly helps a female during the delivery. That means uh, when she is carrying a baby inside, so during the entire pregnancy period or the delivery of the baby. So all those things are taken care most by the progesterone hormone and estrogen takes care of all the female reproductive activities taking place inside the body starting from the secondary sexual characters in females like the breast enlargement or uh, the appearance of hair in the genital area and the underarms the menstrual cycle so all those things are controlled by the female hormones now, if you talk about the structure of the ovary, what is it made up of? It is covered by a thin epithelium. So epithelium is nothing but the outermost layer. So it is covered by it and there is an ovarian stroma. So this outermost layer is the epithelium and then inside whatever you have that is termed as the ovarian stroma. So this ovarian stroma is further divided into two categories, peripheral cortex and inner medulla. So the outermost layer is outer layer is termed as cortex and the inner uh, layer is termed as medulla. So, so that is how the distinction is in most of the case, cases. Cortex mostly refers to the outer layer and medulla refers to the inner layer. So this is the overall structure of the ovary. 
Let us talk about the next part that is the fallopian tube or the oviduct. So what does it do? So this one is the fallopian tube. So let us see what is its job. So it is also known as oviduct. Why oviduct? Because all the names then will be related like ovary, ovum, oviduct. So that means it is given another name as oviduct. This also exists in pairs. So here you have one fallopian tube and here you have the other one. It originates from periphery of ovary and extend up to the uterus. So if you see it starts from the ovary. This is one end is at ovary and the other end it is at the uterus. So from here starts the uterus. This entire thing is uterus. So it basically connects the ovary and the uterus. But why does it connect the ovary and the uterus and what is its purpose? Its main purpose is to receive the ovum from the ovary. As I said, ovary is the one which will release the ovum. Ovum is the egg. So this fallopian tube, it, its job is to receive the egg from the ovary. And then what will it do? It will then allow the egg to pass through the fallopian tube and finally reach the uterus. So that is the main purpose of the fallopian tube. Now the fallopian tube is again divided into three regions. What are the three regions? Infundibulum, ampulla and isthmus. So these are the three regions into which the fallopian tube is divided. So let us see what are each of them. So let us see where are these parts. So infundibulum refers to this portion. So here if you see it is a quite broad conical shaped structure and it is very close to the ovary. So this portion is known as infundibulum. Now after infundibulum is this wide region which is called ampulla. That is the middle region. And isthmus is a very narrow region which directly opens into the uterus. So this part is the isthmus. So here infundibulum is close to ovary and isthmus is the one which is close to the uterus and ampulla is the middle wide region. So in short these are the three parts of the fallopian tube. We look at the different parts of the fallopian tube in little more detail. So as I said, the first part is the infundibulum, which is nothing but the funnel shaped part of the fallopian tube. So how does it look like? It is somewhat like this. Let us suppose, let us suppose if this is the ovary and here you have the fallopian tube, somewhat like this. So this is the ovary. And this portion of the fallopian tube is in the shape of a funnel. So this is infundibulum. So it is located closer to the ovary because the entire fallopian tube as such connects the ovary and the uterus. But this portion is closer to the ovary when compared to uterus. It also possesses finger-like projections called fimbriae. So this fimbriae, what does it do? Due to the presence of these finger-like projections, it actually helps to receive the egg which is being secreted or which is being released by the ovary. So the ovary will be releasing an egg and these finger-like projections will help to catch that egg or to receive that egg. So that is the purpose of the fimbriae, that is it receives the ovum from the ovary. Next part is the ampulla. So what does it do? It is the part next to the infundibulum. That is the second portion. So this portion is ampulla and it is quite wide when compared to the other parts of the uh, fallopian tube. So it is the wider part of the tube and then it connects to the last region of the fallopian tube which is isthmus. So it is the last portion of fallopian tube and it is closure, it is narrower part and also it is closer to the uterus. So this part of the fallopian tube finally ends in the uterus, something like this. So this is the uterus. So if you see, it is very narrow and it connects to the uterus. So this narrow part is the isthmus. So these are the three parts of the fallopian tube. So if you look at the structure, so here you can see this is infundibulum. The next wider portion is ampulla and then this narrow portion is isthmus. Thank you.
please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.